a disclaimer. Like in my every fact uh -huh. explain video, this is a mix of accuracy and memes. If I say- Memes! Oh yeah, it is a new model. You didn't saw it yet. Hi, Bricky. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. Hello. We watching Bricky's video again. Chat say hi to YouTube. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. Hello. Yeah, we watching. You stinky? Hey, crap. Don't call people on YouTube stinky. They're not stinky. They're good little dreamers too. Hi, me from the future. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna see yourself. Hello, Fallen Chain. Welcome. Happy to see you. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Good chat. Good chat. Good dreamers. Good dreamers. <laughs> be, 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 to the people Thank you. on the internet. <laughs> has come the reckoning begins your boy got himself a shaker cup yes he got it boys after many, many i wanted months to hey guys hey guys I, I have a question to you one day one day if gg decides that i'm a worthy would i be allowed Okay, so in future, we shall have our own waifu cap as well, guys. One day it shall come. <laughs> no crap, stop saying this, YouTube stinky. We are all Alpharius here. This is a lie. I'm hearing heresy in the chat. I'm hearing heresy in the chat. We shall be careful with that one. Okay, let's continue. Of shilling gamer stuff like mad. My favorite hi, thing YouTube. to do we have very good chat thank you chat for saying hi to youtube shaker cup it's here the official bricky waifu shaker cup do you see the it guy looks on so here good. If, it's, if it's not great focusing i'm sure there'll be a thing in the background the skater put a thing in the background <laughs> long white hair <laughs> it's okay bricky we understand camera no likey the shaker <laughs> Absolutely. A bit more toned. Abs. Obviously. Bikini. Hit it. Mm, Legally distinct it mark so on good. the face. Of course. Look at the booba placement. It's a perfect booba placement. Remember, this was before his abs flavor. Oh, yeah, true. It is before. And you do this for me. Hi, Centaurus Rex. Welcome. Happy to see you. How are you doing today? Hello, hello. She wants you Booba! to do the diddle thing, maybe, but most likely to serve in a glorious army. Legally distinct? Yes! I think so. You see, guys, if you want to be part of a glorious army, you must buy his waifu cap. Th this is the recruitment um, right now. You, you go and buy his waifu cap. This is how you do this. This is how you go to a glorious battle with glorious female and men. Yes. Yes, this is what you do. I want you to join the Emperor's Legions. <laughs> yes. Fungalus, welcome. Happy to see you. How are you doing today? Hello, hello. Down on me, I realized that uh, Dark Tide OST this, uh, disposal unit Imperium mix of is Warhammer 40k version of Funk, and now I hate myself for thinking that. <laughs> Approved noise, Maurice. Hit the music, yes. Just rolled out of bed. Ooh, I hope you had a nice rest. <sighs> the Bricky Shaker Cup is poke, available poke. now. I think he was poking a bit too much to the side. There was a better spot to poke. I said nothing. <laughs> and you should get it while it is hot. But if you're thinking Brick, Will it ever be not hot, though? I'm looking at it and I'm like, it looks, it looks already hot to me. Will it ever not be hot? I'm worried now, guys. Maybe it's not hot anymore. Oh no. If this guy uh, keeps spawning the Spanish talk, shh, it's okay. This quite offense line. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry, guys. It's, it's okay. It's actually called no. What should I put in this? Well, how about. I'm telling guys who killed you. Favorite gamer subs flavors. From number Save one us, to number 10. All of them incredible, but listed regardless. It and looks so tasty, an addendum man. for those that are caffeine free. This shaker hey, cup is I available now these? in the description <laughs> of Mix this them video. Together. You may use code I'm Bricky sorry, Chaos well may be looking into my soul. To get a discount Mix them all together on your try. order. A <laughs> massive amount of profits goes to yours truly and a huge oh. thank you did you hear guys he gets lots of money from this go buy <laughs> 
to gamer subs for sponsoring and for getting me this number 11 chaos go out there and get it hey actually I'm that would be funny if his if his um taste was just called chaos <laughs> or they're in the chat heresy shall not be tolerated number 12 nargle's special juice ew that sounds awful i'm gonna take one more sip for the camera slow it down throw some sexy music in there and i'll see you guys soon Wow. Wow. I am so amazed. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> the freaking close up got me. <laughs> now I'd buy that flavor by the shipping containers. <laughs> love. I love how we barely made it to the end of this puzzle. I can't. I'm sorry. It's too good. Freaking holy cloud and grab that close up. It was perfect. It was perfect. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Berkey. Currently Hi. stuck in the walls of the most prodigious school in the Imperium by punishment for falling asleep during class. What? Man, everyone knows that you cannot fall asleep in the class because you go into the walls. Everyone knows it, man. God bless the skull of Progenium. Many of you have come across my Every Faction Explained video. Firstly, I did. However, I did not watch it yet. It'd be on my list, though. I'm sorry. In the Imperium, if you fell asleep, you will either execute it or send to the Penal Legion. Oh, boy. Uh, guys, uh, no sleep in, uh, in, in there is very bad for you. Please don't follow that. Um, Dream Bunny does not approve. <laughs> He's in the walls. He's in the goddamn walls. Daka, 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 daka. <laughs> Are you angry and orc, guys? We have an orc. Steel Legion, Kadia, DKK. What is a DKK? This uh, every Legion explained video is a sequel to the uh, that because he corrects some stuff like uh, Ungrown and the World Eaters. Good, good, good. Correcting stuff. Good. I'm an orc. I'm a tank. Oh, you're too aware of yourself, crap, to be an orc. I don't believe you. <laughs> Sleep is for the weak. No. Sleep is for the strong. Thank you. Secondly, we are here uh -huh. to dig a little deeper. Space Marines are the quintessential poster boys of Warhammer 40,000. Yeah. When people think 40K, they think Space Marines, but there are many types of Space Marines yeah. formed from 20 separate legions. We are going- Wait, 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 there is 20? 18. We shall not speak of the other two. Of course there is 18. We, I forgot, I forgot we don't speak about the other two. Of course not. Oh, okay. I'm going to rattle them off in order and give you a quick rundown of each okay. one. Technically 21 if we count the uh, proto Primarch who is still held in a cell somewhere in the palace. So I was told 20, then Tut tells me 18, and then Tut tells me 21. You guys clearly don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I shall believe, Brecky. A disclaimer, like in my Every Fact uh -huh. Explained video, this is a mix of accuracy and memes. If I say- Memes! I'm sorry, I want all the The memes. Salamander's Legion specializes in hugging children and petting Yay! puppies. They aren't- That's what, what I was told I would be, the Salamander one, hugging the children, saving Kadia and helping everyone. That's me! Exactly doing that, mostly. Why do I, I hear mostly? Like to but you can infer. I would up at all the creatures. Yes. Well, not Xenos though. Nor orcs. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the rest I want to pet. Memes. Do you know memes soon of the memes of the distraction? No. Volcano li lives. Stomp, stomp. Infer <laughs> that they care about civilians and are yes. a bit kinder than the average space marine. A space marine being a genetically modified super soldier that's had a million new and terrifying organs shoved into them, refrigerators strapped to their bodies, and are so far... Refrigerators? I thought those were death packs. Also, I remember that someone mentioned they have lots of lungs and hearts and other weird stuff put in them. Keep their body heat from destroying them. I thought that those are literally jetpacks. I did not know these are refrigerators to cool the marine down. <laughs> I had no idea. 
It was Badger, he told you? Oh, the Badger told me about it. Okay, okay. Three lungs and two hearts. I remembered something. Nice. I wonder if this uh, touches on the time they found uh, Salamander still alive from the Horus Heresy. He did die soon after they found him, but damn, was he old. Wow. The backpack keeps them cool, but also aid in uh, operating the rest of the power armor. Ah, oh, okay. We're running like a true Salamander by just using heavy weaponry. Yes, yes. That's exactly what you do. Above the average human, they are referred to as demigods instead. Each oh, demigods. Each space marine has a father. Unlike you, a Primarch, which is basically an even bigger space marine that was... So we have space marine, then bigger space marines, then gods. Okay. No, but <laughs> can die of old age. Uh, they can really slowly. Okay, okay. So they 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 can die just really slow. Thank you for that, but get the flamers, the heavy flamers. Okay, so they literally like age super super slow. So like 10k is is a lifespan on the marine unless they die in the battle, which is 90% of the time. <laughs> I think the primarchs are 30,000. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the primarchs are just, yeah, there is space marines, primarchs, and then there is gods. <laughs> Forged in a lab by the god emperor of mankind, that gigantic golden dude you see yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah, the big boy. Both the leader and now the martyr of humanity. No, 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 no. He, he just, um, he helps. He chomps some souls, but he still helps. If I remember correctly, though, of course. Dante the Blood Angel Chapter Master is the current oldest living space marine, and he is like uh, 1,500 years old minimum. Resting and recovering. Yeah, he's uh, definitely recovering soonish, right? He's gonna be all back on his legs in no time. <laughs> he's fine. Emperor protects. Exactly. Heresy, he says. Heresy, he says. Another older Merlin is still alive and born. Oh my goodness. He helps be by being the beacon so that we can travel. Exactly. He's still helpful. Andy. The Primarchs are his 20 sons built in a lab who 18. lead 20 legions of space marines who are 18. their sons. Not from a lab, but rather a dissection table, giving them the A dissection table. I hoped it's a lab, to be honest. Powers and skills of their associated Primarch via a gene seed, a special organ carrying the genetic makeup of their Primarch and, you know, their seed. So if Jagatai... Am I hearing this correctly? It, is that true? I thought that they, like, just dissect and put some stuff in there and then and all of that. I did, what if... I did not want it to know that this is how they're created. No! The dreadnoughts count. <laughs> oh, boy. The con of the white scars has the genetic makeup that wants him to go really, really fast. Then his son... Fast boys! <laughs> the space marines also want to go really, really... I mean, if you're getting me a tank freaking broom broom, I'm gonna go broom broom. Yeah, that's, well, that's what's gonna happen, man. It's just how it is. Fast. I should note that I am only referring to the legions this time around. If you're interested in sub factions like, let's say, the Black Templars, then it's not going to be here. However, I do have a excellent Black Templar video. I'd argue it's probably the most accurate one I can think of. It goes uh -oh. through the whole lore, everything about them. It's a very long. Look at those meanies! <gasps> They're painted so nicely. Oh my god, I love them. I actually know, guys. Whenever I'm trying to like watch some videos on the YouTube, I'm literally getting tutorials how to paint the Warhammer minis. <laughs> it's like, dude, I can't spend money on this. I can't have minis. It's no. I don't have money and time for this. The gene seed has the genetic DNA of the relevant Primarch. As the Marine gets older, they become like their Primarch. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. You mean ready for upgrades? Of course, there is no such thing beyond fixing. Grow 500 kidneys. I'm not a space marine, dude. You can just shove more organs into me. <laughs> what am I now, huh? Okay, let's continue. I'm sorry, I'll the minis were very freaky. Look up Black Templar video in the description. You'll get what you need. And now with the easy explanation out of the way, let us begin with our first legion. Wait. When that's the round table, we dance where we're able. Dark Angel. Wait, we, I thought we bounced in. Let's keep bouncing. 
happen? There was a Luna Wolf of a Primark Horace that was so identically he was uh, called Little Horace. <laughs> That sounds cute, actually. Don't shove those uh, V8 engines in my lungs. Exactly. Please don't. Angels. I'm good. Allegiance. Loyal. Ah, very loyal. Of course, of course, Roller. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Primark mm -hmm. Lion L. Johnson. A duelist. A knight. A real asshole, I'm not gonna lie. The single... <laughs> <laughs> I was about... I was so prepared that he's gonna say a duelist, a knight. A very glorious and honorable... Nope. <laughs> he is an asshole. He is a freaking asshole. They're loyal. <laughs> I can see that now. Mm -hmm. L. Johnson. As Modai, she knows uh, about the fallen. Make her repent. Wait, what? Ah, we shall never talk about those. Oh, okay, okay. We, 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 we. Okay. Note it. Note it. No, no, no. I, I, I said nothing, guys. I promise. I said nothing. No, 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 no. Uh, definitely nothing. <laughs> Word descriptor. Is their own green space Paranoid. mine? No. The Dark Angels are our first legion, hailing from the death world known as Calabam. Mm. Their Primarch blew Lion L. Johnson's Of course, did they not blow up anything? They always blow up something. What happens when you try to make the side profile Chad meme into a genuine character? He is a master tier duelist, a brilliant strategist, and an overall dick. There are few- Why- Why is he a dick though? He sounds like he should be nice. Why he no nice? <laughs> situations he isn't prepared for and few fights he isn't ready to lead head on this makes the dark angels have a very knights of the round table vibe uh -huh. they look like the knights of old with these large suits of power armor often donning robes and hoods their names also follow this they have like they have a little freaking like what are they called the, 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 mm. feathers they look so cute Ezekiel, Azrael, Belial, Samuel, and so angels. on. However, the common thing associated with Dark Angels are the Fallen, a part of their faction that turned traitor against the Imperium, and they are uh -huh. very heavily trying to expunge all knowledge of them from existence. Why? Is it because they are against the Emperor and they don't want to be found? Scourge the heir of policy? Oh, yes, yes, they definitely do that. They lived up uh, to the angel name. Mm -hmm. Fallen, time for some interrogation. I know nothing, I swear. It's complicated, of course. Uh, let's let's change the status to it's complicated. <laughs> this must be weird propaganda. Of course, no, there is no Fallen. I I've never heard of her. They really don't like the Fallen and what happened uh, in Caliban. Oh no, what happened there? <laughs> fallen? What fallen? Never heard of any fallen. Do you yeah, know of course fallen? Not. We're gonna take no. you away and mind probe you to make sure you have never heard of the fallen. They definitely don't exist, and if they do exist, which they don't, <sighs> we will find them even though they don't exist. They love their interrogations. They thrive. I I I know I know nothing. I know nothing. I never heard the name. I I no idea what they talking about. And uh, they don't exist. Of course they don't. In it. Lionel Johnson is a scorched earth policy sometimes, and it's given to his sons in force. Which makes sense, considering that when the lion heard of a chaos Primarch on a homeworld different Primarch, whose mom was there, he was like, Let's nuke it. The Dark Angels are a special <laughs> group where they formulate themselves into three different factions. The Deathwing Terminator, slow moving, tough phalanx. The Raven Wing, fast jet bikes and flyers. And the Green Wing, Drink which is your water. Ah! Become Thank you so much, Weebo Weebo. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. This buddy right there, Dark Angel. No, oh, I would never. I'm not the one, I swear. No. <laughs> it's blue. Of course, they always just say boom to anything. That's the, that's the solution to any problem. Just, just explode it. Standard Marines. They are a jack of all trades, but I not think, in the sense I where they're good at everything, but rather they have a lot of things that are good at specific things. Like instead of 20 uh -huh. people that have a multi-tool, they instead have uh -huh. 20 people with gigantic power tools for every job. I mean, that sounds that sounds perfectly good. Hi, hi, Weeble. Remember that one Dark Angel Primer's pissing off another one? Oh, boy. Imaginable. If you like being suspicious about everyone and everything in your surroundings, but you also like to have a whole lot of deep night type lore, run the Dark Angels. The One Piece. But I kind of really like the idea of dark of knights in the freaking Warhammer lore. Why did you glass this planet to solve the unemployment problem? 
<laughs> Listen, that's what uh, that's how Warhammer works. The One Piece is real. Our second legion is a special one. <laughs> If you can see, yeah, the numbers all go to Wait, there is no second legion. Wait, I see third on screen what second? No, I I don't I I never heard of second neither. I don't know what that. I'm just going to make sure. Yeah. I no idea. No idea what second. Oh, we don't speak about it. The emperors. We don't speak about second. <laughs> I'm sorry. Children. Allegiance traitor. Primark? Wait, they're they're pink? Are they my friends? Pretty boys, yes, the prince. Fulgrim, a perfectionist, an artist, a sneaky sneaky yeah, snake. artist. And the single word descriptor? Perfection. The emperor's children mm. are all about the pursuit of perfection. Perfection in all they do. Perfection in war, in artistry, and perfection. Wait, they they, they do art? They literally do art? Oh my god. Can I be just an art marine? Can I just sit and paint paintings while everyone else is dying? <laughs> We've exposed a uh, breast hang packed uh, and tentacle. We, no, 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 I so pretty um appetition i saw only very dark and scully designs so far in marines can we make every single legion have this design beautiful perfect and 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 all of that and glittery please 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 let's do this a uh, unification thingy <laughs> honor fulgrim is a man who believes the pursuit of perfection is the goal of all things and i mean look at him can you truly tell me that he is not perfect the hair the features as primarchs go he is the one you look at and if 40k had a guy that would give you the best sex He's you've ever prince. had and never call you back this is the he is a prince i miss the star don't know see too he is a prince charming but how warhammer yes yes he is the hair, the bod, then the, you straight at the... Ah, oh, he's pretty boy. I need to know his routine, though, for his hair. <laughs> fucking guy. Which is why this pursuit of decadence led them to the evils of chaos. Yes, Emperor's children are our first chaos legion and... Wait. That's no good. I mean, it makes sense. If you're always going for perfectionism... Uh, craziness and chaos has a very easy entry to your head. They heard the body. Yeah, I think I think that makes sense. I I understand. Not just a normal one. One devoted to you guessed it, Slanesh. The pr Hello, Slanesh. We meet again. Uh, the best Giga Chalo uh, of the Emperor's children who still remained loyal. Mm. They pursue perfection. Slanish is a chaos god of perfection. Uh, not only, right? I remember that she's of many other things. Excess and lust. Yes, yes. I remember that one. Prince of pleasure. God of unspeakable excess. The emperor's children mm. in their pursuit are now horrifyingly mutated beings through Slanish's great will. They torture and maim oh. to feel perfection through pain. They screech and attack with sonic weaponry oh, no. for perfection through sound. And they slaughter, aiming for perfection in war. Fulgrim oh, himself lost no. the battle against Slanesh as a demon sword corrupted oh, his mind and no. transformed him into the sexy man he was into the no! sexy snake he is now a no he was a sexy man why must he be a snake no oh he was so pretty no he became ugly i went back my sexy prince charming demon primark corrupted and bringing Stop following me ah! Uh, so those, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to my comfy space. Happy Thursday. Hi, hi. Yeah, Captain, I, I, I agree with your reaction. Huh? <laughs> His legions will by himself. As far as Emperor's children go, they are some bad people. They do horrible, horrible things to anyone and everything. In fact, they're such trolls that their Ew. battle cry is for the Emperor, despite being horribly mutated. They 
um, they looked better before Slanish decided to say hi to them. Did you not see the art of him? Uh, no. I actually did not. And corrupted. If you've ever taken a little... T I mean, I saw the video one, but no. Too much of a drug or or maybe the music at the concert was too loud and you didn't bring any earplugs or whatever the reason. You just take all those things and you dial it oh and boy. you dial it and you twist it and the knob breaks. And that is the Emperor's Children. Bye. I'm good. I, I don't I don't wanna be artsy anymore. <laughs> it's dead. God we mean dead. And we Wait, have huh? killed him. The Iron Warriors. Allegiance, traitor. Primarch, Percherabo, a warlord, a siege smith, an incel. Single word description. Oh no! Why incel? Cryptor, siege. Continuing the trend of our ah, chaos of legions, we siege. have the iron the warriors most important led by thing Primarch. Is. The monster? Wait, what? He's a monster? Okay. Percherabo of Olympia. To understand the iron warriors, though, one must first understand Percherabo. A man so bitter, coffee beans run for light. A man who hates the world and everyone in it. Who never got recognition for his deeds. Who hates his brothers and hates their accomplishments even more. Ooh. Someone so laughably petty, so incredibly bitter, that he goes full circle to becoming likable. Why? Because he's competent. The Horus Heresy. We didn't talk about the Horus Heresy. Yeah, what, what that, man? I don't know what that is. You never told me. See, intermission. <laughs> okay, let's talk about it then really quick so I can explain everything for you. <laughs> oh, no. So Horus was the Emperor's favorite son, right? You know, yeah. so the Emperor walked into his room. Horus said, Dad, Dad, I just gifted 150 subs to Amaranth, and she said my name a ton, and she loved me for it. I really think that I might get to meet her one day. And it kind of played out something like this. Your feelings for her are not real. They are real to me! And then it started playing out. Did really Horus did everything that he did because he found a a person that he likes? Did he really fell in love and started disobeying the emperor because of the love? Oh no, <laughs> Horus, no. Oh no, why must, oh no, he fell in love with a demon? Bricky, come on. I mean, I understand why you say that, um, put that comparison, but come on, Bricky, you can't do that. <laughs> Sounds about right. Oh no. Oh, Horus, you lost your ways because of a demon. Daddy, this is cool and all, but demons just hit differently. <laughs> Daddy, you know, the female here are fine, but but demon though, those, those are something. Is that a face, Dad? I really love her. I promise. The chaos gods manipulated him. Makes sense, makes sense. But still, man, that's funny. A little bit more like this. Let the seas boil. Let Why the stars do fall. So it takes the last drop of my blood. Yeah. So Iron Warriors, the Horus uh -huh. Heresy wouldn't have gotten shit done without Peter Turbo. Imagine an entire faction that has the pers- Daddy, I went to something more exotic. <laughs> Sonification of brutal industrialism, where you serve the Legion until your dying breath. You build and you kill and you siege and you kill and you- Wait, are they the ones who created the big hammer to smack with? It's fun to bang our downs, but demon could you get ready? <laughs> oh my god. I think the Iron Warriors are one of the groups still buried under the place, uh, palace, I'm pretty sure. Wait, what do you mean by buried under the palace? Me when I started uh, cooking. Let the peas boil! Literally summon demons just to take them and trap them in machines and use them as cannon fodder. This is a thing they do. They summon demons to trap and use as shock troops. The iron... I mean, we hate demons. We kill demons. We can as well use demons. Yeah, makes sense. Makes complete sense. Buried under Emperor's Palace. Oh, why would they be buried there? Is the palace like Bork since the heresy? Mm. 
There was a few others that were down there too, I'm pretty sure. I just don't remember exactly which of the groups are it was. Mm. Sure those were Horus uh, high-ranking Terminators, of course. Warriors are siege warfare incarnate. They are heavy weapons, they are tanks, they are turrets, and they don't die. They hate Imperials, they hate Imperial Fists. Do you need a pacifier, Iron Baby? No! No, I don't! They are bitch- Wait, why, why do they not die? Are they so changed into the machines that they don't die? It's not the same Tori, it's like a priest uh, singing a deal with the devil to banish a demon. It's fine. It makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. <laughs> Fun fact, an Aryan warrior kidnapped so many demons that the four ru uh, ruinous god united against an Aryan warrior. <laughs> hey, you can't do that! That's too many of our people taken by you! Come on, man! <laughs> her incarnate. Percherabo and the Iron Warriors don't serve the Chaos Gods because they like them. They serve them because fuck you. Come on, guys. Ah. Let's go. Not another speeding ticket. Oh, Zoom! The Zoom boys! Fight it in court, but I don't think they're gonna accept gotta go fast as a medical condition. The White Why Scars. Why not? Allegiance, Loyalist. Primarch, Jagatai Khan. A speed demon, a plane strider. I love that he used this music in the background. It's perfect. A roast god. Single word descriptor, speed. Hailing speed. from Chagoris. The white scars are all about speed. They love melee, but they love it even more when they are doing it from a motorcycle or land speeder. Or Yeah, you just gotta go fast, man. If you're fast enough, the enemy has no time to shoot. Honestly, just... Running really so damn fast. Form, the White Scars yes. are honestly forgotten about a lot. And that's lore accurate. Oh. They are a legion that doesn't seek the recognition or glory from the combat they oh. engage in. They engage in it because it is their duty and because they love it. Not in the insane slaughter enjoyment of loving it, <laughs> but in the thrill of the fight. They are known as the laughing killers because they ride into battle with a smile on their face and a chuckle in their throat. And as you can tell by their Primarch's name, they are Mongolian based. Remove horses oh. and replace them with motorcycles and lanes oh that is interesting i actually didn't thought about that yeah that makes sense sonic but warhammer <laughs> what is not but warhammer spears and that's the your joyful style. they're heavily based yeah. on the old times of genghis khan and consider this is 40k and everybody's evil now that fits. The white scars are actually physical scars on their body, going back to their heritage on Chagoris. The Khan himself is kind of a dickhead, but a, but a reasonable one. He thinks. Okay, who is not a dickhead? Ahead, in this he's intelligent. Universe. He's patient. He is often underestimated because he doesn't scream his accomplishments from the rooftops, which is what makes him and the white scars dangerous. His skills are kept at bay, only to be truly shown. The salamanders. Wait, what? He's very humble. Okay, the salamanders are not evil, but everyone else are dickheads and evils. Okay. When the time is needed. The White Scars are a forgotten legion often, but that doesn't diminish their accomplishments. All it does is surprise those who underestimate them. Speed, mm -hmm. awesome Mongolian vibe they got going on. And if you really like to stab people, that's the White Scars stop for you. Stabby, stabby, Shameless stab! thirst break. <laughs> Woof, 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 woof. Woof, 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 woof. The Space Wolves. Allegiance, Loyalist. Primarch, Lehman Russ. A Viking, a Savage, the Undertaker. Single word descriptor. Ah, so they are the Vikings. My boys, the Viking boys. If Ferris is still alive and see his sons becoming uh, emotionless, uh, we'll have him rolling his head. Oh boy. Wolf, 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 wolf. There's so many goddamn wolf. wolf units. Skater, how many units in the Space Wolves Codex have the word wolf in their name? <laughs> the Space Wolves are the sixth legion and hail from Fenris, a frozen wasteland of a world with their Primarch, Lehman Russ. I don't Ooh, really need to spend a whole lot of time like talking four. about the Space Wolves because it's very obvious who they are. They are the second most like obvious what their shtick is legion in the 20 legions besides <laughs> the world eaters when you look at the space wolves behind what do you see do you see vikings in space you've yeah. done it right yay i'm smart at this vikings but warhammer let's go it is this one these are the guys who have uh, the initiation of locking the new guys in an air sealed cabin and veteran farts <laughs> what what is that initiation? It's so weird, man. 
Why would you do it that way? That sounds awful. They have enhanced sensory organs like nose. Oh no, that sounds bad, man. That sounds so bad. Ugh, poor, 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 poor new people. So poor. So poor. It's to train them against chaos forces like nerd with explosive there. Ew, that sounds awfully bad, man. Wait till you know Lucas. Oh no. Congratulations, you have found Vikings in space. But they Yay! have as much in common with a regular Marine as an old day Viking with, with like a Roman soldier. You see, as a space Marine, your body is so enhanced that you filter out poison and so you can't get drunk. The space wolves distill a special mead out of a horrible poisonous plant that would kill a normal human so they could get drunk. They have fangs <laughs> in the- It's like, listen man, we are Vikings. We must drink. How else are we supposed to- Function. You say I can't. I I shall I shall prove you wrong, my friend. I shall prove you wrong. I will find a way to get drunk. Exactly. I will find a way, one way or another. I shall get it. Their mouths. They sometimes cannibalize their enemies. Yeah, yeah. They, sometimes they eat people because they gain knowledge about them from there oh. and about battle plans. The space wolves are. Hold my beer. Wait. No. Give it here. <laughs> Give it back. They're savages, they're raiders, they're Vikings. But despite all of this, they are loyal to their core. Lehman hmm. Russ is an egotistical guy who just shouts stories and tales mm -hmm. of his accomplishments everywhere they can. But at the same time, he was so damn loyal that instead of gunning down his foes, he hit him with a fucking backbreaker to show his devotion, oh. his devotion to wrestling. Damn. If you want Vikings in space, you found it. Play Yay! the Vikings in space. We're gonna build the wall. We have no choice. We have no. <laughs> We're gonna build the wall. The space wolves are able to eat foes and gain their memories. This is. Uh, I get. Uh, I understand why they chomp them then. The best build legion. That oh boy. Wall. Build that wall. Build that wall. The imperial fists. <laughs> Allegiance. Loyal. Apparently, Laman Ross executed the second and eleventh Primarch. Oh, damn. Primarch Rogel Dorn, a builder, a phalanx, and he needs a it's hand. It's interesting that his, um, I think his armor was the only one that showed a lot of scarring on it. Um, like, uh, most of their armors looked pretty clean. If the Iron Warriors are perfectly offensive front, uh, the Imperial Fist perfected the defense front. Oh, okay, so we have offense and defense. Makes sense, makes sense. Build that wall and weaponize and use it as an offense. Of course, every wall must be weaponized. <laughs> Single word descriptor, fortify. The Imperial Fists yes! are led by Primarch Rogel Dor on their home world of Inuit. However, they themselves are actually a fleet-based chapter with their main source of recruitment coming from an enormous moon-sized ship called the oh. Phalanx. The Fists are a chapter you think of when you think of duty. They love to serve. The love to serve and the inability to be moved. Rogel Dorn is an architect, a master builder, and basically a rock. In Wait, so... They just don't like change. That's it, right? They just prefer to stay in one spot. It's their little spot and you're happy. That's it. They, they just want to be in a little spot. Thank you, Captain. Brain and body. A lack of humor or ability to mm. lie shows that he is as blunt as the weapons of war he creates. Not the swords he makes, but like blunt, strong mm. weapons. The fist. It's unfortunate that they don't have a humor. That's sad. Dorn is a base gigachat, I see. Ah, I, I'm really sad that they can't have humor. No laughing for, no laughing for him. Are the same. Take your archetypical American Marine style look, a buzz <laughs> cut, a hard sense of duty, and then throw in some power armor and a love for building defenses and you have the Imperial Fists. They are yeah! immovable. When you find a spot, they're ready to defend. You, you can't breach them. Their knowledge of defensive warfare is paramount. Without them, Strong. the Horus Heresy would have been... They protect. They protect. They are the most important. They protect. This is spot is mine. There aren't any like it, but I'll defend it with my life. It's my spot. No one shall touch the spot. It's mine. 
Maybe we should get them for defending the payloads. <laughs> so much more effective but thanks to their insane and immovable tenacity the imperium lives today and let's not mm. forget that iron warrior and imperial fist rivalry want to know why the iron warriors are so bitter these guys are the reason why hey guys bring the thing where is he going <laughs> Hey! Hey, that could have killed me! <laughs> hey, guys! We missed! <laughs> Dorn and Perturabo are basically two sides of the same coin. One is just a bit more level-headed and got better jobs. If you want to be defensive, to be good at everything space marines are good at, bolters, heavy weapons, vehicles, you want a classic military fighting force, start fisting. I am happy! All of these minions look so pretty, man. <laughs> Having a very bad day. This, today, is one of the worst days. Oh boy. Hi, Hunter XLR. Welcome. Happy to see you. Okay, what what is up with these boys? What's up with these boys? Oh boy, here we go. The Night Lords. Allegiance, heretic. Primarch, Conrad oh Kurz. A sadist, a vigilante, the presso espresso. Sing word fear the night lords so they fist on the fear or are they the one that are feared or are they the one who fear nobody tell her about the night lord screaming gallery hmm. are my favorite legion hailing from the stromo and their primar i have a question here did any of the Planets that the legions come from not explode? Conrad Kurz. They are a traitor legion from a planet known as the Sunless World or the World of Endless Night. Nostromo is Damn. a horrible hive city that is known for being host to some of the worst gang violence, murder, and working conditions around. The old Ah, so you don't wanna be part of that legion. That's no good place to be. Blowing up planets is normal in 40k? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Okay, so all of them are gone. Okay, noted. So they are just um, no fun to be with. You get used to it in, at some point, maybe at some point. We love exterminators when we are doing the exterminator thing, of course. If we can't have your planet or it goes whoopsie daisy, just blow it up. <laughs> Exterminatus has become a meme. It's actually very rare in the universe. You can't just destroy every world. What do you mean? I'm certain that in the Warhammer, you can destroy every world if you want. <laughs> you just need en enough explosives and all that stuff, you know? That's that's fine, that's fine. Resources, though? Mm, yeah, I can see how resources may be a trouble. I can see that, I can see that. I actually, I'm, I'm thinking, because considering how the Warhammer world works right now, I think it may be, uh, like, they they don't really have animals, right? Like other than Zeno, who are not really animals. I'm wondering if that's the like what happens if they saw a bag? Would they think that it's a Zeno? 40k do have tons of animals. Oh really? Necron Tomb worlds are a prime example of what to, uh, to just blow up. Depends if that's uh, a game uh, Gene Stealer in disguise. Oh, it might be. You never know. I can't name the all but steel legion and uh, DKK users war horses. Oh, they have horses? Okay. High cities don't uh, obviously have animals. Mm -mm. The 40k universe has uh, cut people, literally, and no, they are not like those in the anime mangas. Damn it! I hoped I can have a cat wife win Warhammer. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Only thing keeping the population in check is the suicide rate. The Night oh? Lords followed in the footsteps of their Primarch, a man who believed in a twisted sense of justice and that the only way to make humans compliant is through fear. The Legion's okay. lesson has been lost on them as their ranks were repopulated by gang members, murderers, arsonists, torturers, and other words I can't say on YouTube as young as 12 years old. Old. Ooh, Murderers yikes, before no they were even teenagers raised to become demigods. Now fear is what they sow and flesh is what they reap. The okay, so they basically are the bringer of the fear. 
Hello there, Kaiser. Welcome. Happy to see you. Hello, hello. Nylors versus Fire One. Space Marine 2 secret ending. You get a catch wife. Oh! <gasps> We must find it, guys! We must find the, 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 the secret ending in Space Marine 2! Gotta love these guys! I see. I, I don't think I love them, though. I think I fear them now. You're a kind one, these guys. Oh, yeah, they seem like great chumps. Definitely great to be around. Night Lords are scum. They are the exact opposite of all other legions. They torch... How can you be opposite of exactly all of them? Also... Didn't we establish that the fallen ones also torture a lot because interrogation stuff? Am I misremembering things already? It gets worse very soon, oh no. Are you from the uh, gunnery deck? The Night Lord said calmly, oh no. And they maim and they flay because they think it's fun. They run away. Yeah, the dark, the dark ones, the fallen ones. Think of them like Batman, but the one who laughs kind of Batman. So, Joker. You mean Joker. <laughs> Often so they can come back and kill you with more numbers. They prey oh, no. on the innocent and the weak. They now, crazy Batman? Oh yeah, because they do have some type of uh, reason, like loyalty. Kill the weak and the innocent because screw morality and ethics. Let's have fun and easy life. Oh boy. Batman affected by Joker gas. <laughs> They kill normal civilians because it's easy and flee any battle where they don't possess overwhelming odds. Hmm. They are the antithesis of normal space marines. They are scum. One time, hmm. a world did not comply to their demands, so they raided one of their ships and brought it into atmosphere. The crowds cheered and clapped as it appears that they had won the battle. And the airlocks opened, and the skinned and flayed bodies of the crew were thrown down in the populace. In other words... <laughs> a legion... <laughs> it's raining, man! Hallelujah! It's raining, man! Na -na -na. <laughs> so the thing about Night Lords that make them different from other legions is that they kind of punch down on people. They suck and all other aspects of fighting like the thing most marines are good at they kind of okay so they are just good at beating the weak this is what i mean by it gets worse soon i really they conquered planets with the least amount of human casualties how also curse and uh, primark of night lords hates his legion great legion of gangers and criminals add together a heavy slavic influence to them You've got my favorite <laughs> faction. You have not done the dish. Oh, <gasps> blood angels. Oh, boy. Just for five years. So embarrassed when people come over here. Well, what does it matter? You bring them over, you kill them. Vampires don't what? do dishes. The blood angels. Allegiance, loyal. Primark, sanguineous. An oh, look at this pretty boy. Space vampires. Oh, he be pretty. Angel, a vampire, a dead ass oh. motherfucker. Single word oh. descriptor. But he looks so pretty! Blood. The Blood Angels are Ninth Legion, hailing from the homeworld of Baal, with their Primarch, Sanguinius. The Blood Angels are a tragic tale, with one of the best Primarchs, one beloved oh. by almost everybody. A genuine angelic figure who led his people to glory, killed by the hands of the traitor no. Horus before the Emperor's eyes. The death of their... Oh, this is the one that Horus killed. Oh no, man. Why must you kill the pretty boy? Conquered planets because people were would be terrified of them coming and just give up because it's really hard to fight super soldiers that take the time to kidnap orphans to fly them instead of just fighting. Yeah, I get that. Angel boy, no! Rip with a giga chat. Rip indeed. Even the Necrons were chill with him. Damn it! He was the bestest of the best boys. Which is part of why they are so different from other legions. Legions will legit be like, I will fight you with honor, Night Lords. Nope! <laughs> no honor to find here. Primark led the entire legion to madness as their gene seed malfunctioned and created oh, no. something known as the Black 
rage. The Blood oh, Angels no. degrade over time, experience something called the Red Thirst, which gives them a genuine vampiric thirst for blood. As their no. minds degrade and break down, they get angrier and angrier, becoming berserk killing machines with no other goal than to tear everything in sight apart. But they don't- The Benjelic boys, no! I love the Blood Angels. They have such a tragic story and incredibly riven character. It's so sad, man. See it as that. They see themselves there at their Primarch's demise with Horus in sight. And to them, oh. it's time for vengeance. That Space Marine over there, that Chaos Space Marine, that's Horus. Kill him. That Orc War Boss over there, Horus. Kill him. Oh, everything is Horus. Everything shall die. Horus everywhere to kill. Look how they massacred my boy and you watching Horus fighting. <laughs> I'm in danger. Yes, Sita, literally. <laughs> Why is Horus speaking like an orc? <laughs> that Tyranid swarm, 1,000 Horuses. Horai. Kill them all. <laughs> Did your toast come out a little bit burnt? Horus sabotaged your toaster. <laughs> Destroy the toaster. Destroy oh no, not the toaster! <gasps> not the toaster! Evil toaster, kill the toaster. Destroy it, do it, do it, kill your toaster, do it. This slow, debilitating <laughs> disease takes over the blood angels and it gives them this angelic, vampire, and Catholic inspired imagery. They have chalices of blood, they rest oh, in no. coffins, and can even use psychic powers to sprout angel wings from their bodies. They oh, are a tragedy no. through and through, and the only thing that will look more tragic are the mangled bodies of those they come in contact with. I got a diesel engine. And honey, we forgot to mention. Poor blood boys. They don't want to do it. They just go crazy. Elder, just a skinny Horus. Tau battle suit. Horus in a different power armor. Horus Borg to your stream. <gasps> we must kill the stream. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> no, no, no. I promise, no. The blood angels that are lost to the black rage are literally put into a specific unit called the death company basically the berserker unit oh no necrons are just a metally horus of course They're gonna take your job away. the iron hands allegiance loyalist primarch ferris manis a machinist an inventor oh. and not a great head on his shoulders single word Bionics. Bionic! Oh! Wait, what is a bionic gun? Not my kids! Oh, these jerks. Wait, they are jerks again? Oh my goodness. Iron Hands, the best friends of the Mechanicals. I can see why. Iron Hands are from the home planet of Medusa and their Primarch, Ferris Manus. Does he Ferris Manus have so an good. iron hand? You fucking know he's got an iron hand. The Iron Hands nice. believe that the flesh is weakness. But despite Barely like cyber, cyborg-ish. Oh, okay, okay. Of course, we uh, flesh is weak. Let's go the Mechanicus way. They also can't do anything right. Oh no, do they have both? Like, oh no, why not? And why? By all of their enhancements, by all the things that made them demigods, like replacing some system. of the okay. flesh with bionics will allow them to serve the emperor more. They go harm into vehicles and dreadnoughts. Dreadnoughts being giant walking sarcophagi ah, they that have love dreadnoughts. space marines piloting them from the Can't inside. See why. Vehicles, see why. metal upgrades. These upgrades, people. Upgrades. <laughs> Who needs more metal in their body? We give more. You have a leg? Well, why do you not have a metal leg, huh? <laughs> are the things that make up this legion. Their tech marines have servo arms sticking out from all directions. They have a wide array of mechanics and extremely often replace limbs with metal ones, serving all kinds of different functions to deal with their enemies. The Iron Hands are also not particularly nice. Uh, they're kind of assholes. I mean, marines are already normally pretty big assholes, but, but they, they're a little bit up there because of their... Ugh, flesh, ugh, civilians made. Oh yeah, because civilians flesh, flesh weak, flesh blah. <laughs> First Minister your Primark literally said, hey, uh, augmenting yourself a little bit is fine, but flesh is good. It keeps us human. And then when he died, they went to exact opposite direction. Of course they did. Why am I not surprised? 
dreadnoughts, coffins with legs, big guns, and a pissed off attitude. Yeah, I know that. It's like, oh, you're very critically wounded and almost dead. Uh, that's fine. We're gonna put you in a huge machine. Uh, half of your body will be wiped and it's gonna be machine and you can go back to fight. That's fine. Go, go, go. Have fun. <laughs> You you lost your heart? That's okay. You, your head still works. Because they are idiots and not good to anyone? Of course they not. The Why would they? Ooh, ooh. Because you see the fl Hi, stranger! Oh yeah, it is a new model. You didn't saw it yet. Flesh is weak. Flesh is corruptible. Bionics, mm. the strength of the machine is pure and cannot so is easily be corrupted. So if you want people who have this little techno fetishistic vibe to them that love their vehicles and their walking coffins, hit up the Iron Hands. You understand, Commander? I was never here. Legion 11. Ah. Uh, what that? Never heard of it. <laughs> Why, hello there. I have returned from um, touching grass. <gasps> I, know. I know. No way he touched grass. I don't believe him. I don't personally believe that he touched grass. I'm pretty cool. There is no Legion 11. Of course not, there is no Legion 11. There never was. With the grass touching him. Now let's continue our Warhammer lecture. This ruffles my jammies! Jump, 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 okay, jump, so jump, what's jump, going jump. on here? I am a super sandwich! The World Eaters. Allegiance, heretic. Primarch, Angron. A butcher, a slaughterer. Like a fixed oh boy. Earth shatteringly, unreasonably fuck ass man. Single word oh descriptor, boy. anger. Hey you! Yeah you! Are you mad? Andy. You just fucking hate everything? Do you want to murder everything and sight and your reward for doing so? Then you should join the World Eaters. Home planet of Nuceria and Primarch Angron, who, if the name didn't suggest, is real fucking angry. Angron was raised a slave, now? forced to fight in gladiator pits. When he refused, they shoved old world tech into his brain so that if he ever felt any emotion other than anger, it caused him extreme pain. Sounds very healthy. Yeah. Just be angry all the time. That sounds completely fine. Definitely nothing wrong could come from that. Rage all the time. Nah, that's fine. That's fine. Who who, who cares? All his oh, sons boy. wanting to be like their dad also put a ver- Hey, daddy. Oh, you angry all the time? Hmm. You angry all the time? Let us follow suit. We angry for you, dad. <laughs> Low player, oh no. They're taking over here. No. Version of these nails in their brain. So now you have an entire Yay. legion who literally feel unimaginable pain if they are feeling any emotion other than anger. Slap them with a freight train of armor, two goddamn chainsaw oh, axes, hi. and you can see what's going to happen. Basically, Xbox Live chat room days people. Oh no. It's no wonder they're corrupted by corn. They're honestly yeah, makes a. Sense. They chomp too much corn, guys. Don't worry about it. Surprisingly sad, Legion, that I actually screwed up in assuming that they were all just angry murderers. I mean, they are, but they didn't start out that way. Their corn oh. corruption degraded their intelligence, their free will, and oh, made no. powerful warriors into arguably even more powerful warriors, but blunt like frothing at the mouth psycho warriors the world yeah. eaters like i mentioned the space wolves they they wear their concept on their sleeve they are angry they want to kill things they want to kill you and maybe some of their friends and that's that's the faction they're red they're mad they're gonna run at you and cause why how can their huge bulky um armor be pierced by knives or Stabbed. If it's a big bulky metal armor, I don't necessarily understand. What uh, cornflakes uh, do to a man? Exactly, guys. It's a stylistic choice. Oh, okay. Decorations. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, of course. Death. If you like that, you play the world eaters. Or you like it because they were, Rah! you know. At one point, a lot better than that. Most of Warhammer was a lot better than that. I was once a lot better than that. That was when I was in college. 
I didn't finish college, and neither did Angron. Oh, he's... <laughs> you good, man? You good, man? I don't think he's good, man. It, it must, it is... The blue ones. It's not done by sunrise. I'll cut your balls off. The Ultramarines. The Allegiance, blue ones. Loyalist. Primarch, Rabute Gilliman. That's how, yeah, that's how... It's, it's your boy! <laughs> They're walking Microsoft Excel, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> The poster boys, yeah! The heresy book uh, betrayer uh, portrays the world uh, eaters oh. uh, in a really humane light. Interesting. Uh, Bob, hello there, SRP. I unfortunately decided that buying the audiobooks from the official Warhammer shop is way too expensive because one audiobook costs like 30 euro, and I was like, let me find some fun made stuff on YouTube instead. And I actually found one pretty interesting one. I started to listen to it and it was, um, yeah, it is an interesting. It's, I think the first book of the Harris Heresy, if I remember correctly. I miss small. Yes. <laughs> an analyst, a diplomat, a blueberry boy mm, scout, a diplomat, single word descriptor. Duty. When you see space marines on a box or just space yeah, marines with promotional the material, boys. notice how they are always colored blue. These are yeah. the blue space marines. The, these yeah. ones here, the ultramarines, who hail from the world of Macrog with their primarch, Robute Gorilla Man. Ultramarines. Gorilla Man. Hmm. That doesn't sound very diplomatic. <laughs> are, are the white bread of space marines. The, the grilled chicken with salt and pepper. This is by no means an insult. They are plain Jane, but that's also because they are hmm. so goddamn good at their job. Their skill for warfare is <laughs> paramount, but so is their ability for leadership. Gilliman for a while so was a damn boring primer for all the reasons <laughs> he sorry. was great. Because no matter. I wish the one who got his head rolling was Roberta uh, Grillman. I don't know what that means. How hard you try, you don't win a war without logistics, without supply lines, They're without the smart trade boys. routes, without infrastructure the and economy. You don't win anything without all that stuff, and Gilliman knows it. Which is why he has one of the largest standing empires in the Imperium, named Ultramar. Which is why his sons are the most recognizable of all the space marines. Which is why the only thing that rivals the weight of their victories is the weight of their egos. They are good mm. at everything and bad at nothing. They are great at I I want that map. The map with the old um planets. You wanna hang it somewhere? Ultra Smurfs with Papa Smurf! Yes! Yeah, there's the Smurfs of the Warhammer. Let's go! So we have Vikings of the Warhammer. We have we have the zoo the the the, the oh and Mongolians of the Warhammer. We have the Sonic uh, Mongolians of the Warhammer, yes. We now have Smurfs of Warhammer. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> everything. Other legions can do other things better than them, but they are good at everything. The most interesting thing about the Ultramarines is their characters, as they are all now They're inflicted the various amounts of Ultra ones. Depression for many oh. reasons. Gilliman is, at the time of recording, the only playable Primarch currently on the tabletop, oh. and the only one that has returned to the 41st millennium for the Loyalist side. Oh. He took one look at what his empire has become, and immediately wanted to fucking die. Being forced to lead everything he once hated, an Imperium oh, rocked no. into its core with his sole responsibility to save it. It's kind of what makes oh, him interesting. No. They are a perfectly standard legion with perfectly standard ideals and great if you want a simple, clean slate. Uh-oh, stinky, funny poop, stinky? poop funny, woo! The Death Guard, Allegiance, Heretic, Primarch, Mortarian, a oh reaper, boy. a poison, an ungodly stench. Single word oh descriptor, boy. rot. They the stinky boys. They are the ones. They are the stinky. They need, they, so I'm guessing if you say that in Warhammer, someone is stinky, they are really stinky. Stinky wise, of her no terms. I hate these guys. I kill a lot of them uh, as a Grey Knight. Oh boy. Welcome down. Happy to see you. No, it's okay. There is a lot of information here indeed. League players, basically, after weeks of playing. Hello. Thank you. The Death Guard hail from Barbaros with the Primar. It should be the entrance of every legion at this point. Just blew up their uh, home planet. They live and denied their traitor bastards their death. Ah. 
Dark Mortarium. The 14th Legion were known I for their the incredible name, resilience to Sounds damage. Cool. That's a lot of damage. Where the Imperial That's fists were damage. defensive thanks to tactics and posturing, uh -huh. the Death Guard were resilient because they could take a punch. It's only the third planet? Sure. Why do I think there will be more? This is this only the top of the iceberg as well 4k has like 30 years of lore to it oh yeah i know that lone wolf no worries i know that or, or a gut shot or, or a cannon to the chest and, and just keep on moving they are slow yet they are resistant which was mm. only confounded as a death guard cap yes yes it is how's the wolf training oh oh now it all comes together okay i get it captain Typhus, codename Dickhead, sold them out to Nurgle, god of rot well, and decay. That now, the Death Guard are a Nurgle-worshipping infected legion whose oh. ability to feel pain and take damage has all but just gone away. No, they wade good. through gunfire, able to kill no normal marines good. 10 times over and continue unharmed, all while spreading rot and disease in the oh. name of their dark, Ew. very stinky master. Where the Death very Guard stinky. enter, plague spreads. People get sick and they die. They spread debilitating disease oh, all around them. Why would a legion need... Call the Grey Knights, it's over. This boy is very stinky. If a Death Guard starts uh, running, you better start praying. If a de uh, Death Guard is running, I think... I think you go... I don't know, actually. If you pray, I don't think that's gonna save you, man. The only Death Guard I will respect are the Loyalists and the Hor uh, Huron Fall and Eulis Temer. This is why we love fire so much. Oh yes, fire good. Fire purge. Fire nice. Need to be anything more than very tanky when their enemies are falling over, puking, firing out of oh, both yeah. ends, and having their skin peel off just by their presence. Entire oh, worlds infested with a zombie rot, swarms of insects that eat flesh and metal alike, oh, all boy. while the Legion advances slowly painfully allowing the disease they spread to take its toll before they reap the lives they believe belong to them and look at mortarian's model dude the man is i don't like this boy he 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 no good he no good brothers to the end i would question that uh mortarian got roasted by jagatai khan yeah that Good, he got roasted. Good, good. Taller as fuck. A gigantic Purge. moth with a gigantic scythe. Come on now. The Death Guard. For my next trick! The Thousand uh -huh. Sons. Allegiance? Why? Heretic. Primarch? Magnus the Red. Mm. A scholar. A sorcerer. They seem... A fucking nerd. Single word? Nerds! There we go, we found the nerds! Let's go! Descriptor? Magic. The thousands. My <gasps> These are the space wizards. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Space wizards. I think that uh, he meant Horn Fall and Yuli Cemetery, not Old Death Guard. Mm, 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 mm. Sons hail from their homeworld of Prospero with their Primarch Magnus the Red. The final of our four major Chaos God factions. Oh. The Thousand Sons are disciples of Zeech. Gosh damn it! Why must they be? Ah, the chaos was, but they are space wizards. No! Changer of ways. Heavily inspired by their Egyptian theming, the Legion themselves oh. are slaves to the god of trickery and change. Most of them no longer even having a physical form. Reduced oh. to just dust. Piloting suits of armor at the whim of a sorcerer leader. The Thousand That's Sons do not deserve their fate. There's a common joke that Mag... So basically, they are not even on this realm anymore. Imperium has wizards as well. The bigger nerd Zeed. <laughs> Librarian, yes, yes. This did nothing wrong. This is untrue. Ghosts. He has done much wrong. However, he is very sympathetic, mainly oh. because the Space Wolves and Lehman Russ sought to end their rivalry through the annihilation of their legion, escaping Oops. only through the assistance of the Changer of Ways and forever ah. changed because of it. Meanwhile, magic is their main tool. Take some Lovecraftian style abilities, the eyes everywhere and potent spells to be cast at their foes, where these are Damn. bolts of psychic lightning, so reversing cool. time itself 
opening up portals to unreality or changing yeah. the very fabric of the universe. The Thousand Suns sorcery knows no bounds. Wait, were they these the ones that we were fighting in the Space Marine 2 with the heretics? Die for the true gods! No, I shall not. Thank you. I recognize the... <laughs> Them. Yeah, I recognize the armor. Wasn't those the ones? Damn! Okay, so we were killing. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. The teleporting gippos. Yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> look! Dots connect! I like the Egyptian look of Necrons more personally, though that may be just be because I love the Necrons lore and design game. Mm -mm. Those vacuum dust nerds. Story remembered! Yeah! <laughs> me smart i remembered yeah we were fighting these boys okay so this is why they were teleporting around freaking boys i was so angry that i cannot do it and they didn't just teleport around happily and this is why when we killed one of them there was no actual body left like with the human heretics but they dissipated into the dust because there is, they, they not human form anymore. <gasps> this all makes so much sense now. I'm sorry, my brain connected so many dots right, right now. I'm so happy. <laughs> and they are very good at it. If you're a fan of like wizards, yes. the classic style of spellcaster, yes. and you want a ton of them yes. combined with a tragic backstory and a Primarch who, like yes. Mortarian, looks fucking baller, and the Thousand Sons are for you. I love you it. fucking asshole! There's no <laughs> oh yeah, all coming together! No way, you're a fucking cheater. You're such a sore loser. You're a cheater. My dad works at Nintendo! <laughs> the sun... <laughs> The ending, my dad works in Nintendo! Sons of Horus, or the Luna Wolves, the or the Black Legion. Allegiance, heretic. The evil Primark, ones. Horus, a warlord, a treasured friend, or the traitor himself. Single word descriptor, yes. assault. The Sons of Horus are the... He, 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 they just salty that their daddy got killed. Okay. Formal name of Horus's legion hailing from the world of Chthonia. The sons of Horus. That's the fourth one. I'm counting. <laughs> Joke dropped. <laughs> Horus themselves were assault troops. The strength of their attack was some of the most powerful in the legions. While the white scars may favor speed for their strikes, the sons of Horus were known for their overall. Okay, I have a question because I think uh, I'm missing one little puzzle piece. Currently, currently, um, I'm understanding that only the blue boys are fighting for the emperor, while all most of the other legions are against us. Like all the heretic legions are against us, right? It's half half. Okay, so no, the other primarchs are just gone. Yeah, the loyalists are still for the emperor, and the heretics are against the emperor, right? Or not for the emperor anymore. Okay, okay. So we are fighting with everyone who is not loyalist and is not for the emperor. Okay, okay. My brain connects. My brain connects. Thank you. Nine legions loyal versus nine legions heretic chaos. Okay. And primarchs are missing. Some sleeping, some are missing. Well, the blue boy primarch is fine. Like he's leading right now the emperor imperial stuff, as uh, Bricky said. And some of them are dead, I'm guessing. The Leon returned as well, because I heard that some of them uh, got killed already. Like, at least two or three of them are dead. Only two are dead, as we know. Oh, okay, only two of them. And two erased, which we don't speak of. The rest are sleeping or missing. Okay, okay, noted. Offensive power. It was even said that if the Sons of Horus met the MP. Pretty sure only one loyal is dead dead. Some are like missing or something else. Okay. Imperial fists, they would be at a stalemate for eternity. However, the Sons of Horus are no longer because, well. Yeah, the Horus no longer be. 
They are now instead the Black Legion, led mm -hmm. by Abaddon the Despoiler, who claims to succeed where his father failed. The Black mm -hmm. Legion are still an offensive and assault-based force, but they act much like the Ultramarines, but for chaos. Your standard Black and Brass oh, Space God. Marine, who are known for recruiting in all different kinds of avenues. Anyone can become a member of the Black Legion. Anyone can swear allegiance to the yeah, War Master. Stop. You gain Sign favor by not just one, but all four gods equal. Damn. Oh, gods of chaos like those boys. Famous line, let the galaxy burn is the best way to describe them. It doesn't matter what the outcome is. So long as the Imperium dies, the Black oh, Legion yeah, they, of course they job. Will, they are a legion died. formed from hatred and spite mm, mm, with mm, a mm, clear mm. goal in mind. Let it burn. Yes, this is what they go and do. As the dark gods are calling and the Black Legion are sure to answer. Hello. Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? No. It wasn't fucking optional! <laughs> the word bears. Allegiance what? heretic. It's fine. Uh, GW forgot that Iron Hands existed. Game Workshop. Sorry, my brain had to connect. <laughs> Primark, Lorgar Aurelius. Oh, he looks a cool. Creature, a fanatic. A wow. choir boy. Single word description. Choir boy. Zeal. If the Black Legion answer the call of the Dark Gods, what if instead you decide to call the gods first? Well, then the oh. word bearers are for you. The 17th Legion <laughs> led by Primarch Lorgar on the planet of culture. Apparently, Furs has become the chapter master of the Legion of the Demand since the reports describe the chapter led by Hades gain giant space marine. Ha! Headless. Gamer Workshop forgets that a lot of stuff exists. <laughs> Lol. Just. Originally obsessed with worshiping Why the Emperor of Mankind up? as a god, they found that despite his divinity, he was not worthy of worship. Oh, because. Ah! Yeah, you everything know, he raised today. their equivalent of Jerusalem to the ground for daring to worship him. Like. Could you How imagine you? If, if God actually showed up and was just like, Jerusalem is stupid. It just, it just destroyed the whole thing. Like, what would that do to your head? But there are gods what? that want worship and will reward those who do. Oh, the word course. bearers are chaos Very worshipers good, to God. a T. All they would love gods. you to worship them. They specialize them. in demonic rituals, the summoning oh. of demons and the mutual possession of their own troops. They Ew. welcome demons to their bodies to fight as one. They exalt ah. the dark gods themselves for aid. And guess what? They answer. In the of course, the, 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 the chaos gods are very happy to answer and say, hey, hey, so um, you want to worship some god? Um, we are right here and we are gladly going to lend you some of our people to help. Just give us some a bit power, kill some people and we're going to be good. Let's go. For all the 40k, Satan doesn't just call you back. He hops in his GT Mustang and he crashes <laughs> on your couch. In the world of 40k, your rituals will end with genuine results. The word oh, yeah. bearers know this. They know through sacrifices, through devotion, through oh, dark my. baptism, the gods will answer and they will be rewarded. So they use it. They bring forth demons. They bring forth possessions. They bring forth the power of the neverborn, the damned, and those that hide in the dark to bear against the Imperium. Lorgar sits there, smiling, as the truth he, he always knew, happy. the existence of gods and the importance of faith is a reality, and it is a tool he is using to rend the galaxy. He's like, okay, we just grab a few of these, we put them with you, mash them together, blah, blah, my troops. I gotta admit, uh, here that I forgot these Blair Witch fanatics existed, I'm not surprised. They seem very fun. I also have Anders, let's go! The best boys, the bestest of the boys. Dear Sir Stroke Madam, fire! Exclamation mark. Fire! <laughs> exclamation mark. Help me! The Salamanders. Allegiance, loyalist. Primarch, the Vulcan, good boys. a forge master, a behemoth. A very huggy Aww, boy. Single word descriptor, cute. fire. The salamanders hail from we Nocturne. Just, a we would just go and purge the deaf people. Yeah, <laughs> the deaf legion. 
You get a hug and you get a hug. Everybody gets a hug from Valka. Yeah, you get a hug and you get a hug. Everybody gets a hug. Volcanic planet home to their Primarch Vulcan. They are the largest of the space marines. Not due to numbers, we but rather boys, size. Because we Vulcan, it, it, he is an enormous slab of beef. <laughs> by far He's the largest boy. of all the Primarchs. However, don't let his size fool you as he is also the kindest. Salamander's Aww, he has the softy heart. Everyone here knows the reason the Chaos God don't want to invade Holy Terra because of Slay Marble. The juxtaposition of looking frightening, being larger than other Marines, while also boasting an ashy, like, coal color skin mm. and blazing red eyes, while simultaneously from. carrying around all manner of flame weaponry. So your average flame. civilian might be spooked, Superior. but in reality, they are by far the kindest of all the legions ah. to those civilians. Vulcan believes that the safeguard the Imperium is to, at the end of the day, I mean, safeguard its people. Yeah. So unlike other legions who put their lives far and above the average human, the Salamanders spend significantly more time trying to save them, often yeah. taking numerous losses by doing so. They are very independent as well. They're forgers and blacksmiths, maintaining their own weapons and crafting versions of it. They also we must the save the small ones and the weak ones. We must help very rare privilege of being able to see their families even after Aww. becoming a space marine they they care which is the no that's so cute i forgot the book uh where vulcan was so happy to hear that ferris is alive just to see that abomination oh no funny part because the seven and a half foot tall giant with flaming red eyes who just reduced a traitor to bubbling metal so well he was a traitor he was a heretic he doesn't deserve to be loved and saved says we have to point Tori salamander green and an sm2 oh no i must be green <laughs> You have nothing to fear, young citizen. Take my hand. If you enjoy fire, melting things, fire! and being the nicer of the Marines, I'm the Sound Manners are for you. I'm the ni- Oh no. Ah! Sneak attack! Saga, sneak attacks don't work if you yell it out loud. The Raven Guard. Allegiance, loyalist. Prime I don't think these are the nice boys. Vulcan is so smart, he found a way out of an uh, infinite labyrinth. Damn! Green is best. Bring a boy, Salamanta! <laughs> Mark Corvus Corax, a raven, a shadow, Ooh. an industrial dance DJ. They're, they're, the, they're the rogues of Warhammer. Let's go! <laughs> okay. Single word descriptor. Stealth. The Raven Guard Stealth. are the final Loyalist Legion at 19 and hail from the planet Deliverance with Primarch Corvus no cap Corax. This time. If it hasn't been made clear enough already, the Raven Guard are stealth specialists and proficient in all manners of assassination. Despite this, mm. their signature winged jump pack and double lightning claw look is, well, not very stealthy. <laughs> they are named after, of course, the Raven and embody the entire concept of it as a hell of big boys. Death. They, they are stealthy. stealthy. Boys. You didn't saw Grog. You didn't saw Grog. <laughs> Patient hunters that have no problem with waiting and waiting and waiting until the moment. They crawl by the core hammer. They can literally sneak 50 dreadnoughts behind enemy lines. Damn to strike is at hand. It's not easy being a stealth faction when your stealth involves people in one ton of power <laughs> armor, but they find a way. That more than anything should not be used to show how ridiculous 40k is, even though it is, but rather to show we how good the Raven Guard are at their jobs. It's not about them sneaking around you without being seen, but it's also about them having lied in wait for so long that it wasn't until they were in striking distance that you even realized they had been there. And also, Damn. if you want, you know, edgelord marines with a long black- Edgelords! Wait, this is the second faction that is edgelords. My goodness. Haircut, pale skin, ravens everywhere. If you want to feel the assassins and snipers abound, and the Raven Guard are for you. Even though their clothes are huge. Alpha Legion. That sounds interesting. Be in this very room. It could be you. It could be me. It could even be... Whoa! The, this was the TF2! Meet the, the spy! Oh my god! <laughs> I recognized it! Let's go! I'm the cool one now. <laughs> whoa, whoa! What? It was obvious. The Alpha Legion. Allegiance, heretic. Oh no.
Primark, Alpharius, and Omegon. Saboteurs, Two of destabilizers, them. they're in your walls. Single word descriptor, espionage. Finally. What does espionage mean? I don't, I don't, I recognize the word, but I don't know its meaning. Spies. Oh, okay. Spies. Spies by the Warhammer. The Alpha Legion is so secretive and confusing that even Cinch uh, is totally confused. Everyone is basically Alpha. Are you posing as Omegon? Uh, who is posing? Wait, wait, no! Ah! Chat scrolls! Is posing as Alpha who thinks he's Omegon but is a sleeper agent faking Alpha who is actually Omegon who is posing as Alpharius, but that's also a lie. Oh my god, that sounds like a very convoluted thing. Ravenguard will uh, do what some special forces do, land for, uh, far away and use light vehicles to get to the target location over time. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Hello there, uh, Slim, and hi, Kukulan. Happy to see you. Welcome, welcome. It's a word of a uh, subdivert, aka spying. Spying! They were called the Ghost Legion before they were formally revealed to the other legions. Ah, oh, interesting. The 20th Legion, the Alpha Legion, led by Alpharius and Omegon. The only Legion to have two Primarchs who were split as twins. The Alpha. Oh, yeah, twins. Makes sense why they are two. The Legion them. are heretical. We think and specialize in. We think, so we actually don't know. Well, they are spies, so we know nothing. Destabilization of society and armies. Their entire shtick is the Hydra, because when you cut off one head, two more take its place. All of the mm. Alpha Legion look exactly like their Primarch. Olive skin, shaved head. All claim to be Alpharius. All are liars. They make the largest use of sleeper cells and cultists in the Chaos Space Marine factions. What are the sleeper cells? What, what's that? My uh, headcanon is that Alpha Legion is loyalist but sabotages chaos from within. I actually wonder, that could, that could make sense. Alpha Legion are traitors or are they now? <laughs> I think, yeah, I think it's like, you can't know if they are traitors or not because then you can compromise them. It's like when you can't say when you're a policeman undercover that you're undercover, right? That, that's that. Because <laughs> it's extremely easy to take over a planet. Sleeper agents are basically people that lie in wait and wait for a uh, code code word or signal to activate and do their objective. Oh, okay, okay, I understand. When you poison our water supply, burn our crops, and deliver the plague onto our houses. Where the Raven Guard Oops. use stealth and sabotage to eliminate their enemies, the Alpha Legion prefer to weaken them over time with sleeper agents, impersonations, basically anything you can imagine from a hardcore spy movie mm. or, or Cold War. Means you can insert agents into target populations. Yeah, you insert them when you need, and then while once they got the code code word or whatever else, they act and make the mission whatever they need to do. Has some Alpha Legion agents in them. Oh, that! Can you imagine a game where you play as Alpha Legion? That would sound so cool if you had like Space Marine, but you're Alpha Legion Marine. <gasps> that, that, that sounds amazing. And you're just like, walking around and being a spy. So cool. You can play them in. So <gasps> mm, I see, I see. That has been noted now. TF2, but Warhammer, yes! <laughs> exactly, that's what I need. Would probably be too confusing to play. Shit, okay. We can make it simpler for the for the people like me. <laughs> Cold War spy drama, but Warhammer, yes. Just confuse your battle brothers. Exactly. They shall never know who you actually are. Been here all along. <laughs> Level espionage. Being Alpharius is not only an honor. Being Alpharius is a requirement. Uh -huh. There's a story of someone chasing down an Alpha Legion agent for years upon years, and when they finally catch up with them and they see them, they see that the agent is wearing the same face as their pursuer, because this was the plan all along, to oh, kill him no. and take his spot. We're talking oh, facial no. reconstruction surgery. We're talking hacking. We're talking political assassination and impersonation. Everything. They are Space Marines 
in name only because being a strong stoic warrior is not what the alpha legion is interested in in fact the alpha legion is interested in you not even knowing that the alpha legion is a thing i of course. am alfarious you are Alf <laughs> i'm alfarious change my mind question is uh will you know who you really are uh maybe maybe not you never know <laughs> are you loyalist or a traitor alfarious both a traitor is both both are good <laughs> To confuse the enemy, you must first confuse yourself. Yup! I would imagine sleeper agents are deep into brainwashing. Oh, all of them are. All of them 100% are. Alfarious. We are all Alfarious in his Lord's glorious army. Yeah! Thank you everyone so much for watching this video. I hope you learned a little something. I hope if you were on the fence about what Space Marines you wanted to field, you would now have a better idea of what- Actually, he made me like more of them now. <laughs> I love space wizards. I love space Mongolians. I love the spies. I love the uh, ravens. Of course, I love the salamanders. <laughs> it's like I love so many of them now. There is a book called Legion, which is an alpha legion book. And it's basically a hardcore spy novel in 40k. It's amazing. I've read it twice and could not put it down. My goodness, please stop. I, I, I may actually freaking read it one day. We have to play a uh, Space Marine 2 multiplayer outside of the campaign. Yeah, I know. We, we will have to do that later. It's not even like a 40k essential either since only the final chapter ties into the Horus Heresy. Ooh, that sounds cool then. And the vampires were the best. Of course, and the vampires. Not the pink one, boys. The pink ones were good before they become chaos. <laughs> ah, so many good space marines, man. <laughs> you want to play buy my gamer sub shaker it's on sale buy it's it, on pre-order it. it's ready to go just get it just get it use code just do it. in the description just get it and a yeah. huge thank you to all of my patrons over on patreon.com slash bricky and the members on the youtube channel your names are here i thank you a ton you are all very generous and uh oh I need to answer a question. Have you ever attempted to touch grass but end up touching the destiny 2 loading screen? Ah uh. yeah <laughs> so come on he has been exposed Obviously, stop following me